my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is hot. It's gonna be 95 in February in Texas. We're literally missing out on an entire month of some of the funnest fishing ever because the lakes are so far ahead right now. So we're gonna to go to one of my favorite lakes around here. And I'm gonna to go to a little spawning pocket and kind of see what we can find. You guys have seen so many guys fishing with spin poles and using electronics. That is why today we're not doing any of that. I don't have a single spinning rod. I'm not using any electronics. There's not even a graph on my Outback I'm using today. We're gonna go do some good old fashioned fun using our eyes and instincts, bass fishing. Hopefully catch some Texas giants. Let's go get them. Ourselves a white bass. Another white bass. At least we're catching something. <laughs> I caught one large mouth, but it's right. Uh, I caught two large mouth, but they were small. Oh, it's like out in the middle? Yeah. What's out there? There's just a hydrilla. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I this can't. Whole, this whole thing is like a full foot hydrilla flat. It's like popped out in each foot. Yeah, go I didn't know that. Okay. Cast on the on the general. Decent one. Decent one. Ooh. Definitely bigger than those first two. Decent one. I didn't catch any big ones back there, but no. That one hit it as soon as it hit the ground. That's a big one. <laughs> They're getting bigger. That's a nice one. I, I almost to a point want to just break my heart if I watch something get broke off with a spin pole. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs>
god, that's a giant. Oh my god, that was a nine pounder. There, there's a little fish rubbing up on it. There was a bed? Yep. Uh, they weren't on a bed, but they were rubbed right there. See it? So that was a nine pounder. Oh my god, there's a big one right there. That's, we gotta not be drifting right now. I'm gonna try to get, and I'll try and tie off your kayak so we can see if that big one can her with like a freaking 13 inch rubbing up on it. We need like, we need, this is going to be a fluke deal. You hear that? Right there, do you see that? That's a fluke fish right there. That's a fluke fish. I'm also not totally sure that was a bass, but I think it was. It's a terrible cast. Oh my gosh! That wasn't even where that fish was! Super shallow, this is gonna get fun. Oh, hold on a second. Is that a bass right here? Hold on, George. Don't, don't go in. It's a big bass. See it? Right here. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know how many. Oh my gosh. throwing a fluke around back here. blind casting because I can't do anything. Like I did not expect this type of wind today at all. We were not supposed to have this wind today, y'all.
last one was a big one, you guys. Ugh. Broke my back on that one. <laughs> Got plenty of those today.
Oh god! Oh my god! I got him! Finally! Oh. Oh. Finally! Oh my goodness! Alright you guys, we got the big bite, finally! Oh. That's a nice one. We're gonna get a length and a quick length on it. Big difference. Gosh. <laughs> I, I mean, I was lifting my gear and lift my rod out of the dang water. Guys, well, that we're gonna call it a day. The sun is going down. Caught a ton of fish today. Finally got a good one there at the end. I was definitely missing my 360. That wind was extremely difficult to manage. I felt like I was back in the days where I was paddling and everyone had a Hobie and I was trying to fish. It was good to go out there and catch a lot of fish. Caught them all. I lost a lot of fish on the fluke. I've got to figure out why I'm losing so many fish on a fluke. You guys drop your uh, fluke setup down below and any tips you might have and increase in the hook ratio. Hookup ratio. Caught a lot of them on a bladed jig and uh, that's pretty much all I was doing. I got on a good buzz bait bite too. So overall pretty good day. We're going to see what uh this warm weather brings for the rest of the week. Thanks for watching you guys. Take care and we'll catch you next time.